Hi Gemini, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here. This is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and we're going to look at the month ahead here for you and see what pops up. So if you're dealing with a Gemini, this reading can be for you, or if you're just wanting some guidance, then stay tuned. We will lay out some cards. So uh, before I begin, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. That would be amazing. Otherwise, let's have a look and see what's coming up for you, Gemini. Okay. Okay, so you have a Libra, Libra and a Leo that is coming forward. So you might be dealing with one of these signs or meeting or connecting with one of these signs this month. Um, look, I feel like to be honest with the tower and the seven of wands, I definitely feel like you're going to have a really, really busy month. There's a lot happening here. Um, there's a lot of things you're building up, but at the same time, there's a lot of things that will be deconstructed here. So it's not setbacks, but overall, um, overall gems, I feel like you're jumping into the month like it's going to be there's going to be a lot happening here for you there is going to be a sense of calm though towards the end of the month but i feel from what i'm seeing here you're definitely jumping in um guns blazing hitting the ground running i feel like there could be some sort of circumstance that the tower is really sort of taking over and i feel like there's something really big that's looming in your life it's sort of something you've been building up towards um something you've been hoping that will go further and further and you've been sort of waiting on progression and you're just about at the finish line at this um, but there could be some minor setbacks that I feel play into whatever this tower is actually bringing you um, you are coming up as the queen of swords which which tells me you're in your own power um, and it's telling me that the way you think and the way you communicate is really gonna help you through the month so your words are really going to be on your side um, and the way you communicate with yourself like that inner dialogue but the communication that you'll have with other people here as well um, is definitely gonna come from a place of strength you're literally facing the strength card you're meeting strength so I do feel like there is there is a strengthening of ties and a strengthening of direction which I think you haven't had for quite some time um, and I really feel like your strength is being tested um, so there's there's positive developments that will come from that because you have justice card here as well so i do feel like there's something to do with an outcome um and i feel like a part of you maybe feels like you're not strong enough until you get an outcome like until you get this response until you get the green light or this person finally asks you out like it's almost like a part of you is waiting is waiting for it's like the outcome has to come first then i'm going to be okay or this has to happen and only then i'll be happy it's like you're not manifesting this way you're actually holding things back um gemini and you know we're so in our head about these things so i think the way you're thinking this month is everything and if you're thinking pure positive thoughts you are what you attract and you are in a manifestation energy but i do feel like there is there is some sort of outcome here with the justice, um, with the justice card here. It could be around a Libra. There is a destined collaboration or partnership that's forming. Now it could be legal or binding. There's two energies that are coming together and making things official. So wouldn't be surprised if a lot of you are making things official. You know, we've got a church here, so there could be marriage plans, wedding plans. You might meet someone you'll end up engaged or married to or meeting someone serious who wants these things. Uh, could also be like a, a work thing. The justice card can be a contract. It can be legalities that are coming up here for you, but it's going to fall in your favor. So, but only if you put your best foot forward, you know, and like literally you can charm anyone you want, gems. Um, if it's this person you want, you're going to charm the pants off them. If there's this a contract you're wanting, you're really going to impress someone. You're going to leave them with a very powerful impression. You're going to be absolutely unforgettable this month. So, you're really in your power, you take things in your stride, and you will see the outcome. The outcome is destined here for you. Like I said, I feel like towards the end of the month, things are going to relax a little bit more and you're not going to be as busy. 
Um, I see you busy making plans, but you know what they say, life happens when you're busy making plans. It's gonna be lots of transactions, lots of communication. There's someone that wants to reach out and there's something big that you're manifesting. So I think we need to explore that. Um, but overall, I love that you're facing the strength card. And I love that justice. It's also like a balancing of karma. I think things are going to be much more balanced. I think you've been looking for direction and you've been looking for like a calm uh, in your relationships, a calm in your life, in, in your career. And it's like there's, there's a sense of calm and peace that will sort of wash over you towards the end of the month. So you might start it off with a bang, but I feel like the way you're wrapping it up, you know, things could really settle down. I do feel like this is also tied into a manifestation that may happen towards the end of the month. Um, there's someone behind you here as the Seven of Wands, Gemini. Someone who's angry at you or still holding anger, maybe a fire sign. Um, it's someone you've turned your back on or someone you don't reply to, someone you don't connect with very well um because they're not your strength they're not giving you strength or peace so you've turned your back on them you might be ignoring them there could be late replies they're picking up on this there is someone who's who's having a bit of issues there um and i do feel like they want to communicate so who is this person that's going to try to communicate and what they what are they going to say like i said could be a fire sign you did have leo um what is the communication coming up around the person who wants to reach out okay so I definitely feel like it's someone from your past. Um, it's someone who is very obsessed. Um, and I think they're doing a lot of rethinking, you know, replaying our conversations over and over. So this is someone who is, it's some, there's been something that you've told them in the past and you haven't lived up to that Gemini. And now they're chasing you up about it because you haven't, you haven't lived up whatever you said you were going to do. They still love you though. I love you unconditionally, which says to me, despite you maybe hurting them, mistreating them, turning your back on them, but it was for, for your own self, right? It was for your own peace, your own love. Um, it's definitely made this person think differently. It could be an ex, a fire sign ex maybe, um, or an ex that still is bitter or angry towards you. Um, or someone you had a lot of, like a very powerful lust connection. Fire is lust, passion and anger and wrath. So... I don't know, this could be someone that you're kind of in competition with, but you don't outwardly say it. Um, it's more like, yeah, you know, you've got something going on. Um, look, maybe that's going to help balance things out a little bit. You know, maybe if they're not coming from a place of anger and hostility and they actually lay down what's really going on and show a vulnerable side to them, you know, you that that might change how you feel about them. But... And it's not, it's not manipulative. I just think like they need to approach you from a different standpoint. And then you may be open to seeing what transpires from there. But, uh, you know, if they're going to be seven of wands, you're just, they're just going to keep pushing you away and away. And, and off you go, you're going to find someone else here. That'll be your strength. Um, let's see what you're manifesting though. You're definitely manifesting something. Um, gems. Let's have a look. What are you manifesting? Okay, the tower. The tower is like unavoidable. Like it's literally following you around. Okay. There's big transformation, but the tower incident needs to happen. You and, and the Ten of Swords is here. So it can be around a betrayal, uh, maybe around another air sign. I'm just getting pain and hurt for the air sign and it's been cyclical this cycle um so it's happened before there's like this cycle that you keep going back to you keep entering into and that's because you're used to it now you've sort of like conditioned yourself okay be careful you've you've conditioned yourself to a particular person or a cycle could be like an addiction or a toxic thing in a relationship or it's like you keep doing the same things and that's why you get the same results. The cycle may have to be broken. We've got the moon, so it can be around a cancer or it can be, it's a subconscious cycle. So you're possibly not even aware you're doing it. 
it's coming from a place of your subconscious okay so you're, you're manifesting the tower moment you're literally doing something here that's attracting the tower this could be self-sabotage gems and the reason we self-sabotage things at times is because subconsciously we don't want something or we don't want it to go a certain way so we sabotage it so there's okay there's some trauma that's coming up here this this has to be healed you need to work on whatever this is gems or it's just going to keep resurfacing the moon is cycles it's going to come back at a particular point so look at your life look at where you are right now like are you single are you in a relationship are you working towards your goals are you sitting idly by and letting the world pass you by like look at where you're at and look in the past you've been in the situation before under very similar conditions so it's almost like every time you become single or every time you find yourself in this position or you're jobless or you're doing this this tower appears to hit so you're manifesting it look like i said i feel like it does need to happen because you've got the transformation card next to it which is a really hopeful sign transformation is change so i feel like there are big changes in store for you that's really going to shape the month and it's going to be this turning point here for you that i think you've been waiting for for a very long time and it's in the cards you've prayed for this transformation um you know i get like this is ones so this could be connected to the the ones that we saw here. How many ones was that again? That was seven. Seven of ones could be connected to the fire sign. One, two, three, four, five. And it's like the eight of ones, but they're upright. Okay, could be communication. Uh, okay, I feel like there is a change coming, but it's bigger than what you initially anticipated. Or if it's communication, it's it's on a bigger level than you thought before. So the word that comes to mind is intimidation. Or it could be an intimidating um, thing that's popping up here with the Ten of Swords. But you're breaking a cycle. You're breaking a cycle, but put yourself first. I think self-love is very important because of that Ten of, Wands, uh, Ten of Swords energy. Um, but there is change coming. You're manifesting, you're manifesting it in the physical here. Um, so really powerful month overall um i feel like there's a surge of energy coming um that's really gonna change your life i feel like life as you know it could really change here for us gems so that's very exciting indeed so i'm gonna leave it there thank you everyone again for tuning in and we shall be in touch again soon so please don't forget to subscribe and bye for now